Hello there, it's Mrs M here and this is a video brought to you from my, yeah, woman shed. I love my little woman shed. How many of you have one? I want to know that question. How many of you have a woman shed? There's more of us than you think. In fact, I went round an amazing one the other day. I'll not mention a name, but she has got optics all set up ready for the summer. I've got a feeling there's going to be quite a lot of gin and prosecco in it. Um, so... <laughs> She looks like she's going to have a fabulous time. But I brought you to the woman shed simply because I can't get a moment's peace in the house at the minute. And so this is where I get my peace. This is where I'm able to do all my things in my workshop. Um, also run a business from here as well. So I love my shed. But also, you may hear the neighbour's dog. You may hear my dog. You may hear kids. You may hear anything. So here goes. Well, this video is all about vitamin D and how important vitamin D is to you. Um, I did a blog post on it. If you've not been on my blog, please go, please subscribe. Um, I put on my podcast on there, I put on my videos, and obviously the text. So whichever sort of media you want to watch, or hear, or read, it's there for you. Got it all on every post. Um, so I'm gradually now putting on the videos and adding them to the site as well. Um, so go to www.mrs-m.co.uk and subscribe and you will find lots of information. But why did I set up Mrs M? Well, it's because I want to empower women through their midlife. I think midlife is fantastic. It's probably one of my most best parts of my life that I've had. And I think that we need to embrace it. But to embrace it, sometimes that means some adjustments and various things. So um, here goes. Um, I brought the old trusty laptop with me because there's a lot of information on there and I'm trying to remember it all. I want to get as much on this video as I humanly possibly can. So, you know, I don't want to miss a bit out. But vitamin D, it is so important and more important than you think and i know that most people think oh well vitamin d it comes from sunshine yes you're correct um but you know i think i knew more probably about more about b vitamins vitamin c than i did vitamin d and i think if i'd known about vitamin d many years ago i wouldn't have had some of the health complaints that i've had which have now funny enough disappeared ever since i've been on a good vitamin d regime so you know, most people will get a lot of their vitamin D um, between about, they say March to September, but I think it's more going to be around about April to September, especially this year, because it's actually not been that great so far. Um, so you do get it from your sunshine. You do get it from the sunshine. But you can also get it from oily fish, mushrooms, red meat, egg yolks, liver, all them types of things. So, you know, some of them I don't eat. I don't eat enough of. I like mushrooms, but... I'm, well, I'm not really a fan of oily fish, to be honest. I try and force myself to eat it, if anything. And I think there's a lot of us out there who are like that. But the role of vitamin D um, is to help keep bones and teeth and everything else healthy. But I've noticed it's had a real big impact on a positive way on my joints. Um, you know, this is how I came to know that I was um, vitamin D deficient. I thought, I just woke up one day and... My hand was hurting, this hand, and I thought, my goodness, what's that? Have I broken my finger or something? I can be a bit clumsy, I can be a klutz, um, so nothing would surprise me. Um, I'm also hunking about lifting stuff all the time and that, and sometimes, you know, I can injure myself without knowing I've injured myself. And uh, so anyway, I went, um, I went to the doctor and said, I think I've broken my finger. And he took one look and he said, don't think that's broken. I think you could have something called osteoarthritis. So I was like, really? And he said, yes, really. So he took me up to, um, he didn't take me up to, I took myself up to the hospital. I had x-rays. And um, shortly afterwards, I was put in touch with a brilliant, brilliant Greek man. Uh, he's a rheumatologist and he, he was so lovely. Um, in fact, he gave me some more great advice. I'm allergic to um, anti-inflammatories. I can't have a lot of them. And that's no bad thing when you can find out what some um, anti-inflammatories can do to your body. Um, so I chose um, to go down the natural route. And I said to him, I, you know, I, I eat well, which I do. I do eat well. I have lots of other good vitamins and, you know, I have glucosamine, chondroitin, all the other ones that are supposed to help. Um, but I wasn't taking vitamin D. And he'd done some blood tests 
some quite extensive blood tests, to be perfectly honest with you. And um, he said, for some reason, your body is vitamin D deficient. Now, bearing in mind, I go on holiday, I walk the dog in the sunshine every day, I get plenty of sun, but my body, for some weird reason, likes to deplete it. Goodness only knows why, but it does. Anyway, he put me on some real high strength vitamin D3. There's a difference between D2 and D3, which I will come on to in a moment. He put me on high strength vitamin D3, and I would say within about, oh, three to four months, I felt just so much better, so much better. And the other thing was, is I found out more about vitamin D and some of the other symptoms I've had throughout my life have gone. I, I don't suffer with as much. So this is something that you maybe need to have a look at. But, you know, how do you know, apart from having a blood test, whether your vitamin D levels are low well i've got some symptoms here i'll just put the old specs on tiredness is one of them back and bone pain which is what i had in my hands wounds actually can take longer to heal depression muscle pain hair loss and getting ill more often now i said to you there was another symptom i was always one of those um children growing up and teenagers and even into my 30s i was always suffering with colds if there was a cold going Hey, it was coming my way. Here's the interesting thing. Ever since I've been put on a high vitamin D regime, I don't have that issue so much anymore. I can actually be around people who've got colds and not get as many of them. So this is a massive, massive bonus to me. Um, you know, I was just putting colds down to just being prone to them. Um, I was putting um, it down to just living quite a busy, hectic life. And actually... I think vitamin D has had more to do with it than um, I care to imagine. But are there any other illnesses? Well, yes, there are. In fact, it is now suggested in studies that it helps reduce your risk of developing multiple sclerosis. That's MS. Um, it prevents heart disease. It can help with flu and colds, as I can well vouch. Um, depression. It can help manage type 2 diabetes. Um, osteoporosis. That's a big one for women in midlife and I will be talking an awful lot more about in uh, in months and probably years to come. Um, it helps with, you know, your cognitive brain function and um, against fights against dementia. Um, also, it helps to boost with weight loss. Um, it does slow down osteoarthritis. I now can move my hands. I don't feel as if I'm in any pain in that respect anymore. I still get bad days, everybody does, but I can't tell you how much it's really helped me. And also, it's also said to help improve people with acne. So there's lots and lots of things that it could potentially help. And I think if you are at all concerned that you could be vitamin D deficient, even though you may go on holiday, you may get a lot of sunshine, you may be outdoors a lot, I tell you, it's maybe worth considering. So I have one 25 UG D3 tablet. Now, vitamin D3 is colcalcifol. Uh, I can't ever say that right. Um, but it's preferred by many because this is what is actually made by the body. You can get vitamin D2, which is often the subject of a bit of controversy. But how do you know whether you're getting D2 or D3? Well, most of the labels now that if you go into a pharmacy um that they're very helpful the ladies in particular and the gentlemen um but you if you just pull back the label on some of them they have that dual fold label and just have a look and see whether it says d2 or d3 now on my blog i've put the links to the ones that i have i'm not forcing you um to buy what i have i just do it because a lot of ladies who have helped with this have said look can you tell me what it is well instead of me writing it out about five thousand times I have it there, you can see it, you can go get it if you want it, or go and find your own. Um, so, you know, it's it's good. Also, D3 doesn't have to be expensive. The one I have, um, I started off with a prescription with the doctor, but it's, prescriptions aren't very cheap, you know, they can be quite expensive. So I found, found an alternative and got a whole supply for the year for £11. Yeah, or one month supply for £8.80 odd or whatever it is. Do the maths. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense. So, 
you know, these are all things to have a look at. Um, but if you feel that you're getting any of those symptoms, and by the way, they're all listed on my blog here. They're all listed. So if you want to have another look at them again, you know, just go to www.mrs-m.co.uk and just type in, there's a little search bar at the top, just type in vitamin D and it should pop up or go through to the health categories. And again, you'll you'll find a wealth of information there. You know, I'm not a GP, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medic. You may even need to go and speak to your GP yourself. Um, but either way, you know, it's, it's worth exploring. It is worth exploring to see whether or not um, that you could be vitamin D deficient because it certainly made a massive improvement in my life. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to be doing some more videos. So do follow on if you want to read or listen or watch um, with some others. Um, but um, stay well, stay blessed and I'll see you soon.